This is why Elizabeth Hasselbeck has totally vanished from our TV screens. While most contestants on the reality hit Survivor disappear back into obscurity, Elizabeth Hasselbeck managed to carve out a hugely successful TV career. In fact, thanks to a long-running stint on The View and a co-hosting gig on Fox & Friends, the talk show regular barely left our screens for more than a decade. But all has gone quiet since the outspoken conservative quit the latter program in 2015. Here then is a look at why she pressed stop on her day job. Elizabeth Hasselbeck was born in Cranston, Rhode Island in 1977 to liberal parents. Her mother worked as a tutor and a lawyer while her father was an architect. In 1999, Hasselbeck graduated from Massachusetts Boston College where she enjoyed success captaining the women's softball team and earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, then followed a brief spell working as a designer for a high-profile sportswear brand. But in 2001, the then 24-year-old was cast in the second season of the TV reality show Survivor. Hasselbeck eventually finished in fourth place on Survivor, the Australian Outback, which saw the public vote on contestants split into two tribes. Later that year, Hasselbeck was invited to judge the Miss Teen USA pageant. Then in 2012, she married her long-term boyfriend, pro footballer Tim Hasselbeck. This was the same year that she landed her first major TV gig as host of The Look for Less fashion series on The Style Network. Years later, Survivor host Jeff Probst said he was always certain Hasselbeck would go on to bigger and better things. Every guy on the crew fell in love with her. He told Huffington Post in 2014, We watched this young girl mature into this fighting phenomenon, and everyone wanted to date her. They thought about marrying Elizabeth. It was all in our fantasies. So the one-time Survivor began to thrive, and her TV career reached new heights in 2003 when she was chosen to replace Lisa Ling as a permanent co-host on daytime talk show The View. Hasselbeck would become renowned for her conservative views and even sparked an emotional on-air row in 2006 over the use of the morning after pill. At the time, Hasselbeck controversially called for a banning of the over-the-counter sale of the drug, even in cases of incest and rape. Hasselbeck courted further controversy the following year with her support of the war in Iraq. The subject famously saw an on-screen bust-up with her fellow presenter, comedian Rosie O'Donnell. And later in 2007, Hasselbeck made headlines for claiming that a new government savings bond for newborn children would lead to a subsequent fall in the abortion rate. This caused a fallout with actress Whoopi Goldberg, another host of The View. In 2012, Hasselbeck was also heavily criticized by comedian and actress Kathy Griffin, who perceived bias during a joint interview with President Barack Obama. Nevertheless, this outspoken attitude and the consequent feuds inevitably helped boost the profiles of both The View and its controversial presenter. Indeed, 2009 saw Hasselbeck and her fellow anchors on The View scoop a daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Talk Show Host. And by 2010, the program was pulling in more than 6.5 million viewers. Despite her candid and highly contentious views, though, Hasselbeck claims that she didn't actually consider herself to be a conservative. Still, the TV star did appear as a keynote speaker at the Republican National Convention in 2004 and again in 2008. Hasselbeck also introduced Sarah Palin, the controversial then-candidate for the vice presidency, at a rally in Florida. And in 2013, Hasselbeck was hailed by the right-leaning current affairs magazine Newsmax as one of the GOP's 25 most influential women. Around the same time, too, TV industry talk alleged that Hasselbeck's conservatism was becoming increasingly unpopular with the audience of The View. Then whispers began to circulate that she was about to be fired from the show, so much as that co-host Barbara Walters denied the rumors on air. Nevertheless, just months later, Hasselbeck announced on July 9, 2013 that she was quitting The View after a decade. She would instead jump ship to join morning talk show Fox & Friends. The very next day, during her last appearance on The View, Hasselbeck gave a tearful speech in which she singularly praised fellow hosts Whoopi Goldberg, Sherry Shepard, Joy Behar, and Barbara Walters. However, during an interview on The Rachel Ray Show two years later, Hasselbeck claimed that she was glad to no longer be working on The View. The star also admitted that she hadn't watched the program since her departure. In September 2013, Hasselbeck made her debut as Gretchen Carlson's replacement on Fox & Friends. And in just two months, the new presenter had helped to increase ratings of the news magazine show by 9%. But it would only be two years later that Hasselbeck unexpectedly announced her decision to leave the program. Yes, she made her final appearance as a friend of Fox just three days before Christmas 2015. Hasselbeck later revealed that she quit Fox & Friends in order to concentrate on bringing up her young family. 
After all, she has three children with husband Tim Hasselbeck, the NFL quarterback star she first started dating back at Boston College. Their daughter, Grace Elizabeth, was first to come along in 2005. She was followed by two boys, Taylor Thomas and Isaiah Timothy in 2007 and 2009, respectively. Hasselbeck discussed the reasons behind her departure during an emotionally charged episode of Fox & Friends on November 24, 2015, the day after she handed in her notice. The star said, I'm taking a new position as CBO, Chief Breakfast Officer, at our house with the kids, and that does mean that in about a month, I'll be leaving my Fox News family. Continuing to address her viewers, she added, The kids need the best of me, not the rest of me. This is a really, really hard decision, but I know it's the right one, and I thank you all at home for understanding. Hasselbeck also revealed that she felt the peace of God about her choice to leave Fox & Friends and, it proved, television itself. But some observers believe that there were other contributing factors to Hasselbeck's decision to stand down from her TV duties. In 2014, for instance, the presenter was forced to take some time out from Fox & Friends after doctors discovered a tumor in her abdomen. Happily, Hasselbeck found out later that the growth wasn't cancerous. Nevertheless, the scare may well have forced the star to reassess her priorities. And that was not the only health problem Hasselbeck has had to face. Indeed, she lives with an autoimmune disorder known as celiac disease, which affects the small intestine. In 2009, Hasselbeck published a self-help book, The G-Free Diet, a gluten-free survival guide aimed at sufferers of the condition. Two years later, the star launched a line of gluten-free foods suitable for both children and adult celiacs. But although Hasselbeck has not been seen on screen lately, she's not been entirely absent from the media spotlight. In 2016 and 2017, for instance, the mom of three hosted the K-Love Fan Awards, an event staged by the titular religious radio station. Hasselbeck is, after all, a committed Christian. She's previously denounced the removal of Bibles in U.S. hotel rooms and the persecution of believers in Iraq. Hasselbeck also made headlines in 2016 for a defense of Roger Ailes, the Fox News chairman, accused of sexual harassment by her Fox & Friends predecessor, Gretchen Carlson, in a lawsuit. Hasselbeck told the website behind Entertainment Tonight that Ailes treated me with overwhelming respect, a pure-hearted kindness for which I am forever thankful. Nevertheless, Fox later settled with Carlson over the allegations. Later that year, too, Hasselbeck was back in the news, this time due to the sale of her family home. The five-strong Hasselbeck unit departed their colonial-style house in Greenwich, Connecticut for a six-bedroom property in Belmead, Tennessee. The multi-millionaire couple has also previously owned two apartments in the Upper West Side of Manhattan. More recently, the now 40-year-old Hasselbeck has been spending time working on the board of not-for-profit organization The Positivity Project. The initiative aims to teach young people how to form healthy relationships with other members of society using positive psychology. Visiting a school participating in the Positivity Project in Raleigh, North Carolina, Hasselbeck spoke to a local CBS affiliate TV station where she said, Kids themselves are saying they love having class time to understand character. That's incredible. And if there's one person who knows all about strength of character, it's Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Please share this video with your friends below.